Hello, welcome to very noisy and lively Nam Jun Pak exhibition at Tate Liverpool. I'm Su Kyung Lee, I'm the curator of exhibitions and displays at Tate Liverpool and curated this exhibition. This exhibition is the first retrospective since the artist's death in 2006. So we wanted to show the whole spectrum of this prolific artist career. Nam Jun Pak was the first video artist who explored all the technological possibilities for art and using TVs and technological uh, materials as artistic media. Because it wasn't artistic medium, he used it to such a revolutionary way and experimented with the physical nature of TV with magnets and other things like just manipulating the nature of TV physically and later digitally as well. And he later became more interested in the contents of videos. So he was interested in broadcasting itself and how the TVs and broadcasting changed the way we communicate. These works by Paik demonstrate his interest in the juxtaposition and harmony between nature and technology. So what we are really showing here is a recreation of everyday life where technology is really intrinsic to what we do and what we are as human beings. Coming from South Korea and working in Germany and United States later, he really understood this globalized idea about human achievement. So to his mind, it seems that everything had equal importance and there is no hierarchy between something like high art or law form of art or western art or eastern art. So this work is called Internet Dream. It was made in 1994, fairly later in his career, but still he was experimenting with um, what the internet may bring to our life. He was such a visionary artist who understood how technology could really change human life and how we understand and exchange visual images as well. And the way he's showing these images aren't really cinematic or narrative. They are intentionally fragmented and he just wanted to show how we appreciate images now as very much fragmented and as if you are popping the channels on your TV screen. So this is really the sort of the environment he, he created to show this future, which is now, really. He obviously understood how internet could change our understanding and our behavior, and he understood how this kind of open communication could change art.